Dumping syndrome is a condition that patients will experience if they eat the wrong type of foods. So for instance, if you were to have uh, a bowl of chocolate ice cream, um, that ice cream after a bypass goes straight into the small intestine, which really doesn't like having neat ice cream put into it or dumped into it. The reaction to the, of the body is that patients start to feel shivery, um, sweaty, tired, uh, unwell, and that lasts for an hour or two, and it's directly related to having something sweet and calorific, and it puts you off. So from our point of view, it's a necessary side effect to give the patients the incentive not to eat the wrong things. I think there's no doubt that some people do get tolerant to dumping syndrome and in the first few months after surgery they'll probably experiment once and get bad dumping but later down the line it often goes away for better or worse. I think after particularly bypass surgery the way your gut absorbs food and fluids has changed markedly so I think you need to be careful with alcohol and certainly I would avoid it completely for six weeks or so and then have it in moderation, slowly reintroducing it, but certainly not drinking to excess. With the band, it's less of an issue. Um, I think certainly in the first few months you wouldn't want to drink to excess. You certainly wouldn't want to make yourself vomit, which could, could cause the band to displace. We ask patients to be very careful with fizzy drinks because the pouch which accepts fluids is much smaller. And if you can imagine pouring a fizzy drink into a small cup, the bubbles will easily overflow if the cup is quite small. And that will happen if they swallow a fizzy drink into their stomach pouch. The stomach pouch will overflow and the bubbles, unfortunately, will come up. I tell most patients that once they've had surgery, whether it's a band or a bypass, that they should treat their bodies as normal. So if they get an infection, they have antibiotics. If they uh, get a headache, they take headache tablets. So there should be no change to what they would normally do in response to normal day-to-day -day events. The only difference is certain drugs that are slow release, the GP might wish to prescribe a different formulation, but we're always available for advice to talk about those things. Head hunger is a particular feeling that patients get when they know they don't feel physical hunger, they don't want food, but they need to feel that they're going to eat something. And it's part of the psychological makeup of um, craving foods and being dependent on foods for comfort. And it's something we spend some time with patients discussing and dealing with after an operation. We have lots of patients and support groups um, around the country who are very willing to see our patients pre-surgery or post-surgery. Some of the groups are very formal, meeting regularly every month, and some are more informal with just people who are prepared to ring up or meet other patients who are thinking about surgery. In addition, there's very good internet-based support groups. Uh, I'm particularly thinking of wlsinfo.org.uk, which is a very good internet-based support group.